Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Um, oh shoot, it stopped. I wanted to show you guys that today we woke up to a blizzard. There is so much snow out there. You can't really tell, but there's a lot of snow. There is a lot of snow. Sam is out there snow blowing with our tractor. He's been trying to get the tractor started, but because the snow's or because the temperatures have been so cold, he's not been able to get the tractor started. Today finally is. So I'll show you. So that's what's happening. Sam is getting the job done. He's getting to use his tractor, you guys. Doesn't he look happy? Don't crash my car. Holy, that has a lot of snow. Uh, a lot of you guys are asking about our bar being closed the last few days and I just want to explain it. Um, basically, our government issued a warning that said, don't go outside. If you can stay inside, stay inside. It's not safe. And our owners of our barn, it was not safe for them to go outside and shovel all the area where, the, where, the, where we would need to go to get our horses. So it just wasn't safe. It wasn't good. Uh, they said stay home if you can because the horses are fine. It just wasn't good for anybody to go out there. The barn is open now, but the girls are lazing around. What are you guys doing? I'm watching YouTube. I play SSO. Played SSO? Schools are closed today. Yeah, we just need to um, do... Friday school. French. French school. No, it's not. Yeah, we did French I was today. for three hours. Sophie and I did French today. Um, anyways, yeah, it's just been like crazy. So you guys, I already told you, my goal to bring Stella home is March the 1st. And I'm really committed. Like I wanna bring her home on March the 1st. That's one month away. And February is such a short month. Um, basically, I gotta get stuff done, but I'm really like stuck because a lot of things I can't do without Sam. Sam has to do them for me. Like I can't screw the things into the ceiling for the cross ties. I can't screw the buckets into the thing. Like a lot of stuff he has to do. So um, he's home today and he, we're gonna go down as soon as he's done the driveway and we're gonna help out and he's gonna get some of that stuff done. We can't buy floor mats for our stalls because they only sell them seasonally. Um, just so like a lot of stuff like that can't really do until I can do it but we're gonna go we're gonna try and get some stuff done and everybody is just chilling in this crazy crazy snowy blizzardy weather right see look at mama cookie is hiding Toby from me so that I can't touch him <laughs> you go cute you are and then there's Ruby right there a whole house full of lazy What? a whole house full of lazy This is why you need a farm, you guys. This is what it's all about. I love it in here. I love it in this barn. Oh man, as soon as I walked in, it was so much warmer already. I wanna do chores. I wanna do chores. I wanna like be down here. I wanna wake up early in the morning and come and get our horses ready. I wanna take these things out of our barn. Oops. Because it's metal. Like this is all really sharp metal. Like I don't know why they would put this in a barn. Because, I mean, it's sharp and it's, I could see them getting hurt on it. Like for real. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna try and do some stuff. I'm gonna try and work on our arena. Um, our priorities, and tell me what you guys think. Our priorities right now are setting up a field. Actually, maybe we'll go to a tax store today. Ooh, that would be exciting, because there is another tax store we could go to in the area that might have rubber mats. If I could just get like enough rubber mats to finish a couple of just two stalls i would be really excited i'd be really happy if that doesn't happen today then i think maybe well tomorrow's not maybe friday we could do that but okay my priorities and i'm just telling you guys this because i need to make a list and i need to like really 
get working on it. I need to finish the mats in the stalls. I need to hang up two water buckets in each stall, which we already have enough of all that stuff. Um, we need to buy the electric fence and the poles, and we're gonna have to get them into the ground somehow, which I think we could probably do it. Um, and set up a paddock, and I don't think it would be that much work, like, and then go around and check the fencing. I think we can do all that. I think that's not a big deal. Um, grain I have. Hay is easy, grain is easy. To be honest, the uh, arena uh, is not really super priority. Like I already know where we're getting the footing. I already know the company that's gonna do the footing for us because we definitely wanna have it done the right way so that um, our horses are safe and sound. And yeah, so what else do you guys think? Like, doesn't sound like a lot, but it's kind of a lot because we're dealing with mother nature and winter and trying to get it all done. And then Sam being at work all the time makes it hard too. Oh my gosh, Sophie's got a big, huge. <laughs> this is what it's all about, you guys. This is what it is all about. My kids out there playing on the farm, playing with the dogs. Us together as a family, doing chores, working together, like this is amazing. I'm so excited for this adventure. I just want it to be spring and get started. like um, it's beneficial to live in a place and kind of get a feel for the property and stuff before you can really do much work anyway because then you see what you need to do and you kind of have a better feel for where you want to put things like um, we are gonna get chickens and I have a feeling I know where I want to put them but um, like once the grass comes and stuff it'll be a lot easier to figure it out I think our camera's broken fun fact I am trying to screw this thing on here. I got a little screw and now I got it stuck on this thing. It won't go in there. Like I can't get it in there. It's like it's made of cement. Oh my gosh, what happened to you? You have to come see my snowball. I'll come see your the snowball. Last time I tried to ride my snowball, it broke so I started again and it's huge. Oh my gosh. So come on. I'll come in a minute. I wanna get some stuff done in here. Okay, I'm on top of the mountain where the truck is. All right, I'll see you in the, on the mountain. Okay. Bye. Yeah, the point of my clothes. Oh my gosh, Ruby, you look like a drowned rat. You guys all look like a drowned rat. Come up here. So Gabby's teaching Ruby to pull a sled. And she was nervous before because obviously. She's very nervous. And she's still nervous. But she's just going to get better. It's like starting a horse with teaching how to pull a sled. Build yeah. Build and get caught. All right. Don't bolt. Don't get caught. Okay. So they're going to. Trot, right? She needs a longer rope. She's nervous. Okay. Here they go. There we go. Look at her go. Yay. There's so much stuff to get. Okay, so I tried to drill a hole, in, or I tried to, I tried to drill this screw in there, and it got stuck. I'm telling you, it's not easy. Look, it's like, must be metal. Is that where you want it? Yeah. It must be metal. That feels like wood to me. Man. 
Okay, well, obviously I made the hole so that, no, not that one. Okay, yeah. Obviously I made the hole so it'll be easy for you. I do not know. Look at you guys. I want to chronicle our weight loss journey. Sam is Sam and Sophie are the hardest ones to get on board, but he is like looking thinner. Tell them how much pounds you lost. 18. 18 pounds in 23 days. Uh, right there in that bag. Where is it going? You put the bucket up so I can okay. see where. 18 pounds in 23 days. Oh, that's really good. Um, I think I've lost the most weight because. I have been doing it for longer since um, I've been doing it for six weeks tomorrow and oh um, Gabby looks a little thinner and I like our kids we're not like we're not they're not on a diet we're not on a diet they might think that we're on a diet we're eating portion control that's all we're doing um, Sophie though I'm so proud of her because she's like Sam she loves food wow you guys it's happening um, beside it. Looks like there was like a salt lake or something there. God gives you the body you need when he gives it to you. But I know that as a family, we've let ourselves go in the last two years. If you look back like three years ago in our vlogs, we were all way thinner. Like way, way thinner. And um, it's time. It's time for us to get healthy. And it's not about losing weight. It's about being healthy. And we're going to have a farm here soon. We're going to have our animals soon. We need to have all the energy we can to keep up with them. Get another bucket. Oh, pretty. So basically, we need another pink bucket for Stella. Gorgeous. So, um, we're probably gonna put her hay. I don't know. See, that's what's weird about stalls. Like they say, put oh, the hay. We should, uh, we should take these down. Like they're dangerous. Take it off yeah. Do you know how to take it down? One of those corner things. Oh, we can't. I don't want a corner thing. I want to put their hay like far away from their water. Or green. No, I don't, we don't, I have grain buckets. I don't like these. I don't like them either. Take them off. Take them off. United in our farm adventure. Who remembers why we bought those, that purple bucket? Who we bought that purple bucket for? Comment below. Um, and Sam said that, that these would be really good for like small animals, like goats or something. We could put them down lower. So for all of you people who are worried about our horses not having enough water, we got two buckets in each stall so far. Good job, Sam. Now how we do, let's see where we're gonna put the cross ties. What's that? We need to get like LED light here. Yeah, we need to put there. lights in here. Yeah, that's gonna have to be something we're gonna buy this week because, there's no light here. yeah, there's no light and we need to be able to have light. There's like the it's, book. uh, they're in there. Where? Are you ever going to do anything with this? Uh, yes. Work? When or... I, I can't ride right now. Once I can ride. Okay. So, so, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. I can put one here and one on the concrete or something. So this is what, so this is what I, yeah, those are long. So this is what I was thinking. I was thinking Stella should get tacked up in this yeah. section and we could put her saddle there. Like, yeah. We can put her saddle hook there, so everything's just right there for her. Put it right there. Or even on this oh, wall that here. That wall's there. Yeah, right there. So her saddle and everything could be all there, like to tack up. And then tat her Stella tack here. And then I was thinking a storm could go in this hallway and they could both face the arena. So then storm walks out and then Stella walks out. But Sam says, tell Can't them. have horse face and other horse's butt. Even if they're far apart and they can't yes. hit each other? Yes, because the one horse wants to always look back to see what the other horse is doing. So they have to be facing each other. Comment below if you think I'm right. Comment below if you've had any other experiences with your horses that you have put them so that they're not facing they're each other. They're always facing each other when you're cross -touched. Right, I tend to believe Sam, but I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. So why can't we put one here and one then one here. down there? 
we could use this. Or we could use that if that's going to be empty to wash. Yeah, no, but we're going to probably put hay in that wash doll. Hey. Got a whole empty. Yeah, we have two whole empty stalls for now. Well, two dungeons. No, the farrier can do it right here in this in this hallway. Okay. You guys, there's a lot of discussing that has to happen when you have a farm. Just buy one that's all set up, we don't have to discuss anything. But there's no light in there and it's like dark. No, that's why we need to get like light. So then if we put them in there, then we're only uh, tacking up one horse at a time. Where? If we put the cross ties in there. No, we have one there and one here. But then they won't see each other. But at least they're both facing. I don't know, that seems suspicious to me. If they can't see each other, who cares which way they're facing? Sophie is up here building a, a snowball. I'm trying to keep the camera safe. We are headed to the mall, Sophie. Yeah, we have to take baby Jack to get a few things. Oh, Sophie's building a horse. See, we do have a horse in the field. Baby Jack's first trip to the mall. <laughs> Probably will never remember it. There he is, all dressed up in his Winnie the Pooh. All right, we are at the mall and we're eating. What are you eating? Nothing. What are you eating? Pop. I'm eating pop. Is that really pop? So. You have water? Good job, Gabby. No, I'm eating burger. Um, so I want to you see, but I only like um, the uh, spicy wings and they, on the board it says that they have it but then they say that they don't serve it. Crazy. Anyway, yeah, so this is the first time that we've really been eating out since we started this whole uh, serving thing, and we do eat everything. We just eat portion control, so hopefully this goes well because I got a veggie wrap, and it's huge. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.